Hi, Daniel Romine here, again, for the hundredth time, or most likely because nobody's watched my videos, so this is your first time. Don't worry, I can break you into these videos. Sorry, that was like weird sexual tension. Not really. Okay, there's... <clears throat> Something that's been, I've been thinking about, and that is, uh, well, two things, actually. Oops, almost forgot to start the timer. All right, timer started. All right, what I wanted to talk about was ego. Ego and the way we treat people. First off, there's a fine distinction between animals and humans, and I think what defines us from from animals is ego and the reason why I say that is because um, well how often have you seen a dog with an attitude well that's a bad example okay not with an attitude but how often have you seen a dog look at you smuggling and walk away well maybe that's a bad example too well you know what I mean the dog doesn't think he's better than anybody else, and you're not gonna go buy that sports car because he wants to feel better. Mostly ego is in humans, and it's the biggest trait that humans have. You know, there might be little signs of, an, of it in animals, but humans mostly carry ego. And I noticed that, I thought about this for a while, that ego is actually the downfall of human beings. It really is. I mean, think about it. Hitler could have, uh, okay, this is going to sound really strange when I say this, but hear me out. Hitler could have been a great leader if it wasn't for his ego. He got way out of control and he did some very, very bad things. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like condoning Nazism or fascism or anything like that. Because I, I'm, a, I'm against that and I think what he did was wrong. But... It's just things like that. There's, there's been a lot of conquerors or dictators who may have started out pretty good and just ego took control and they wanted control. Ego is a really ugly trait. I mean, it could start out as something small. Like, um, for example, you could be playing a video game and um, you get excited because you get to pick your character that you're good with uh, amongst all the other characters. and feel that little sense of pride you know that's not so bad but when you start getting to the point where your life is incredibly great um, like you got a nice car a nice house a nice wife a nice family then you get to the point where you believe that you're better than other people that's where the ego starts to get out of control and I don't know if you're watching this and if you're one of those people who have an ego, you'll probably shut this video off right now. You probably, you probably will and be like, no, that's not true. That's called denial. If you are thinking, is he talking about me, then it probably is you. So, what you need to do is reevaluate. I can't talk. Reevaluate. Eh, I can't. Reevaluate what you're doing and how you treat other people. If you're treating, if, if you have any question or any doubt of if you're treating somebody bad, you are. And um, if you hear people, you hear people talk about it, like, oh, he treats people like crap, or he's such a jerk, or she's such a, such a bee, then you need to reevaluate what you're doing, how you're reacting to these people, because it's probably true. And you might surprise somebody. You never, you just never know unless you try to tweak that personality a little bit. And if you don't have a personality, it'll be a great start. But ego is a mind killer. Man, it's a mind killer. Because, I mean, ego can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. Like, um, let me give you an example. Alright, here's a good ego. The way I'm talking right now, I have confidence. I'm talking to you straight, I'm talking to you plain. And I don't really have fear of what I'm going to say, but I'm not going to cuss. 
That is a good ego. That's a fine ego. Now here's another ego. And these women, they love me so much. I don't even care if she does like me. I don't care if that dude likes me. He ain't me. I wake up in the morning. <sighs> Look at that. You know what I'm talking about. That is bad ego. And if you laughed at it, there are people who are actually like that. And they think, you know, that's it. You know, they think that <laughs> that's the personality. That's, that's what makes them, yeah. People love me. Mm. <laughs> that's oh, that's it's humorous. And what they don't realize is that people aren't people are not jealous of you. They are really laughing at you. Ego is a mind killer. When it, once it gets out of control, you're not gonna. I mean, you you could you could stop it, but it's gonna be very very hard for you to notice what, how other people are reacting to you because your ego will block it out. You'll be, con you'll be concentrated on only yourself. It's not good to block others out. Because there's a thing called self-image and self-concept. Self-image is how you see yourself. Self-concept is what people, is, is how people, um, is how they view you. And your self-concept can build your self-image. And a poor self-concept can make a poor self-image and a poor self-image can make a poor, uh, poor concept. It's good to keep a balance between the two. And the thing is, is once you only rely on your self-image and you block out your self-concept, you're in for some trouble because you're not going to learn, you're not going to gain any more knowledge from other people, and it's really good to stay with the times. I mean, uh, I'm talking to the guy who's sitting in his living room who's never been on YouTube or never bought a computer because his self because his self-image tells him that I don't need to adapt because my, my 1974... Pontiac Firebird is still the hottest thing around. No, you you got to listen to your self concept. You you got you got to get out there. You got, but like I said, only going by self concept could also damage your self image. If you're too concentrated on what people say or what people are doing or how people are responding to you, and you're not focusing on your self image, that's bad. Because, um, let me gather my thoughts here for my self-image. It, it's, it's bad because, um, you're not learning anything about yourself. You are, you're pretty much, you might as well just be somebody else. And, you know, it's funny because maybe that's where identity crisis comes from. It's very possible, maybe identity crisis comes from not, no, not, not knowing themselves because they're not focused on themselves. They're focused on what style they want to be instead of what style they can create. So, yeah, ego is a mind killer. Ego can be a good thing. Ego can be a bad thing. Um, I, guess, I guess you'd call it um, moral ethics that um, it's good to have enough but not too much. It's bad to have excess but it's good to keep things balanced in your life. So if you're doing too much of anything, uh, be anything, if you're, if you're uh, focused on people too much, if you're focused on yourself too much, if you're focused on eating too much, that's bad. Uh, based on moral ethics, all that's bad, unless you keep it all balanced. And even in the Bible, um, yes, I, I am Christian, but I'm not gonna go on a Christian rant because I'm not that kind of Christian. I'm just going to say that even in the Bible they say gluttony is bad. So, I mean, even in a religion perspective, through a psychological perspective, uh, excess is bad. So, it's good to keep a balance. And going back to ego, and going back to self-concept, to self-image, um, if, if you made it all the way to this far in the video, and you're still listening to me, then thank you. I should give you a cookie. You definitely deserve that cookie. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. But, the uh, I lost my train of thought. I guess I'm not Superman anymore. But, just keep a balance. And for the people who 
you know, you think you're a ladies' man and, you know, all women want you and uh, you think you're extra tough and extra macho. You think you're super muscular, you're the Hulk. Well, let me just say, you're doing too much. Don't do that. Hey, this ain't just a guy thing either. This could be a girl thing too. There's girls out there that think that, that any guy will be with them. No, that you know, people are laughing at that. Don't don't do that. Don't be that person. Be somebody. Um, be be somebody. Don't be somebody else. But be you. Be yourself. Express yourself. I think Bruce Lee said it best. Um, don't find a famous personality and duplicate it. Express yourself, but don't duplicate um, a famous personality. Um, that's not word for word the quote, but I mean. Pretty much, you get what what I'm trying to say here, and that it that does mean my time's up. I got a pizza in the oven. I don't want to burn it. So, thumbs up this video. Uh, subscribe. Shut up! I'm talking. <laughs> what a rude alarm clock or cell phone, whatever you want to call it. But. Please thumbs up this video, like this video, share this video. I'm not well known on YouTube. I'd like to get uh, get the word out, share my videos, um, and I, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate you watching this video. And uh, check out my other videos. If I have a chance. You never know. You might like them. If not, let me know. Just don't wind up on how I deal with trolls. That's an ugly smile.